Pilots, this is Pete with BananaHobby.com. I'm bringing you guys the in-the-box review and the first look at the T38 Talon uh, electric ducted fan jet available at uh, BananaHobby.com. This is made by Freewing Model. Um, the quality of the kits have been excellent. Um, we're going to go ahead and open this box up here and uh, see what we can find inside and give you guys an uh, overall look at it. Check back with you guys in just a sec here. Alright guys, this is Pete again. We're going to open up the T38 Talon um, scale electric duct fan jet and uh, give you guys a look at what we can find inside. Alright, we're going to set this box aside here. Very nice. Initially when you open the box, you can see there goes the manual. Actually, these are just uh, some flyers of new models and stuff. You got a very nice uh, color manual here from Freewing for the T38 Talon. Uh, tells you some color pictures in here, very nice, of what to do and how to install and everything. So we're going to go ahead and put this aside. And uh, what we find in the box here, uh, at your first look, you got your fuselage. Everything's packed in here really solid here. So we're going to pull that out and uh, give you guys a look at what's in the box here. We can get the fuselage out. All right, here we have the fuselage here. This is the T38 Talon. We're going to go ahead and pull it out of the cover here. As you can see, I haven't opened this thing before. All right. Look at that. It's very, very scale, guys. Very scale uh, decals already in, um, in, already put on here. Uh, you got your steerable, steerable nose wheel. Um, scale canopy, scale coloring. You got it in the U.S. Air Force scheme. Um, very nice quality. Very, very light. Um, Looks like it's going to be very sturdy here. And uh, let's see what we have underneath here. We have your, we have uh, underneath here, we have your push rod for your elevator control. You got your ESC already mounted. You got your aileron push rods on the side right here. Aileron servo, everything's already mounted. Steerable nose wheel. And you got your ESC with a Dean style plug already uh, soldered on there, so you're ready to go. And then you got your receiver in there. So that's good to know, and, and then it's a 4300 kV in rudder, brushless motor, powering this thing should, should be quite fast. Let me put that down there, and uh, the ESC in there is a 30 amp brushless ESC, so that's good. Um, we got your nose piece here that basically we just got to glue on here. Look at that, and you're good to go. So other stuff in the box we're gonna pull out here. Got your rudder. You got a steerable rudder, already pre-mounted, hinged already. Very nice. Um, control horn already on there. Very simple. Okay, we got your. Uh, here we have your um, horizontal stabilizer. It's already pre hinged too. You got your horns already mounted on there. You know, this looks an awful like, lot like EPP foam for some reason. See, it's very flexible, so it's very, very resilient to damage. This is really nice. I don't know they're making that out of that material. That makes it really crash resistant too. I'm surprised. That's great to know. So we have your main wings, pre-hinged, nice colors. Um, horns already on it. All you gotta do is control, connect the control horn from there to your main wings, and uh, you're good to go here. And you got your other main wing still taped in here. There you go. Very nice colors. You know, we'll go ahead and uh, get this thing together. I wonder how it's gonna fly. This thing is really nice. Okay. Um, remember guys, this is a ready to fly package, however it does not mean that it's completely ready to fly out of the box. There is some minimal assembly required, like a little bit of gluing and stuff like that. And a little bit of a uh, control clevis, you know, you plug it in there and stuff and you're good to go. So next out of the box we have your basic 4 channel transmitter, very nice. Feels very good in the hand, you got your servo reversing, you got your trims, power, and some LEDs on there. Very simple, yet gets the job done perfectly well. These are on FM frequency, 72 megahertz, so they are on aircraft channels, so these are regulation aircrafts. Um, very impressed with the quality of these transmitters. They, they feel really good in the hand, that's the main thing, you know, and they, they get the job done very well. So you don't need uh, to buy any other merchandise uh, or radio gear like that if you choose not to. So we do offer the plug and play package for this model as well, which uh, you can opt for um, not including the transmitter and the receiver, and uh, it'll bring the cost down slightly you know, lower for you guys if you guys choose to do it that way and use your own transmitter and stuff. So we got your package of little screwdriver. 
got some control horns in it and your main wheels. You basically stick it in there and you're good to go. Okay, next thing out of here, we have, let's see, we'll get your lithium polymer battery here. Very nice. This is a 11.1 volt, 3 cell, um, 1800 milliamp, 15C discharge uh, lithium polymer battery. Very nice, very small, compact. Um, got your balance port, balance tabs already mounted on here. You got your Dean style ultra plug already soldered on here. Plug and play. Charge the battery and you're off to the field. Um, keep in mind, guys, lithium polymer batteries, you don't want to over. I'm sorry, lithium polymer batteries, you don't want to charge these things unattended, okay? Don't charge it and go to bed. Don't charge it and go out to dinner, okay? Keep an eye on this thing. Feel it from time to time. Make sure it's not overheating. If it is, give us a call and uh, we'll fix you up. Also, don't over discharge this. This thing's got about a flight time of roughly maybe about 8 to 10 minutes, depending on how good you're with the throttle and how much you're at full throttle and stuff. So keep it at about that time frame, and um, these batteries will last you a long time. So these are great batteries. Okay, we've got your, that's your LiPo battery. LiPo! Okay, next thing out here we got taped up is your charger. Very simple, AC. Uh, wall charger, plug it into the wall, got a little LED signifies power that is charging. The other side is to a Dean's plug, a Dean style ultra plug. All you do is plug this into there and keep an eye on that little LED there and once it's charged you'll know, plug it in there and fly it. Very very simple. Good configuration guys. Um, just remember not to over discharge the batteries again. And uh, we got your little tube of glue here. Um, very good glue. This glue works perfect for the airplane. It's very, very foam safe, so you can glue all the pieces on there and it holds it very strong. So this is a very, very good glue here. I tried this glue so several times already on the other models and I, I like it a lot. So here we have the T-38 Talon electric ducted fan jet available at BananaHobby.com. Beautiful guys. Very, very scale. Um, it's I forgot to mention that it's in the U.S. Uh, Air Force Thunderbirds paint scheme. At one time, the Thunderbirds uh, U.S. Uh, show team did use this at the aircraft for uh, air shows and stuff. Very, very fun aircraft. Very, very stable. Uh, low flight characteristics. Very fast axial rolls, um, as I remember. So we're going to put this thing together here, take it out to the field, and uh, toss her around, give you guys a flight review. Once again, this is Pete with BananaHobby.com with your first look at the T-38 Talon. Uh, electric deck to fan jet available only at uh, bananahobby.com. Uh, we offer lifetime tech support, so if you got any questions, you can give me a call, shoot me an email, and uh, we'll fix you up. Thanks for checking out this in the box review, and uh, we'll see you guys on the web and at the field. This is Pete again with bananahobby.com.